It's the final day of fixes at Terry Lynn's claim. Well, let's get it loaded up and get it up there. You got her, bud? Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me get my hand out of there. I got it. Yep. We ain't, bud. Ready to go. How's that sluice box doing on the back of the truck? Does it still look strapped down tight? Yeah, it's still pretty tight. Looks good, ready. With just hours to go until the final test run, Juan's new funnel-shaped sluice heads for the Lynn's wash plant. OK, stop. Stop. Oh, wow. She looked really good. Juan did a good job on it. Yeah, he sure did. Well, let's pick it up and set a new sluice box, Terry. Coming your way. Oh, look at that. Think of that, Terry. Hey, fit in there just perfect, Freddy. Oh, I like it. And this one's going to be rigged up strictly for fine gold. It'll catch little nuggets, too. Yes. We're going to make it where it's in love with the fine gold. Before, you were divorcing the fine gold. OK. Now we want to make this box fall in love with it. <laughs> awesome. As Freddie and Terry weld on the sluice, Juan has a double fix for the extra wet pay dirt clogging the hopper. You can see all these marks right here. This is where Terry's been beating on the side of this hopper, trying to get all that material broke free. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one mounted horizontally and one vertically. So that way, we have two different motions going on. It's going to increase his material through the plant. And at the end of the day, it's going to increase his gold recovery. We've never done that before. Hopefully, it works. Because the truth is, this is his biggest bottleneck. At the sluice, there's one last thing to check. I got multiple boards here, right? So I can change the widths because we don't know exactly your water flows. I'll have you fire the water up and uh, we'll watch that water flow through there. Okay. And we may add more to one side, we may take away from one side, but it gives us that option to do it on the fly. Changing the width of the boards will control the water, allowing Freddie to set the sluice at exactly the right speed. There we go. First water there. I like it. I think that water's just about right for what we need. The water looked pretty good there. Now it's time to uh, get some material with gold in it running through the plant, see what it does. Let's show you what we did. Awesome. During our initial test, we actually came down here and panned some of the material that was coming off the bowl. Yep. And there was still color in it. So what we did is we redirected all the material and water. It's not going through the bowl anymore. It's going to strictly come through this sluice. Set up strictly for fine gold. Yep. No, that's pretty cool, guys. Well, on the screen, Terry, it wasn't shaking quite hard enough. That's right. But we uh, put that extra weight on that counterweight to scrub the material better. The more material we can get feeding through here, the more gold you're going to have in your sluice box. Yep. But the biggest thing is out here on this feeder. Your material is just so gummy. Yes. So while Juan was cutting plates for the sluices, he cut mounting brackets for those vibrators. The vibration probably won't solve 100% your problems with feeding, but it'll eliminate a lot of it. That sounds really good to me, guys. You know, anything's better than what I was doing before. There's one more piece to the puzzle. Well, Stephanie, you ready for this? Moment of truth, huh? I think so. Making this a true two-person operation as long as you did what you did over here the other day, you'll be fine. OK. All right, let's go. Hopefully everything just runs go good and right and smoothly. Um, he needs help down there. Well, it looks like Stephanie's ready, so let's fire up a water pump and fire up a plant, huh? Sounds great to me, Freddie. Fire it up, man. Sounds good. All right. First bucket, Stephanie! Down, curl the bucket. Well, I'm so excited to see her in there and to operate and actually feeding the plant. I'm so, so happy. Oh. That one didn't do very well. Well, it's running a heck of a lot better than it was before, huh? That it is, Freddy. Sluice is 
it's running really good. I'm more than happy with it. He said that bowl was spitting gold out before, and uh, hopefully what it was spitting out, we're now catching. I know Juan has better eyes than I do, but I don't see anything in it. Nothing. Nothing. I don't see not nothing there either. Not a, not a piece missing there. Are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. Right, look at that. I'm happy with that. It's dropping. Proof's in the pudding here. Yes. Proof's in the pudding there. Yep. Yep. Let's hope you got enough gold here to make a whole lot of pudding. <laughs> the vibration up top, that counterweight made a huge difference. You can see it, the material that's coming off the end of it just clean. clean. And we're running three times as much material now, too. Yeah. You know, that's one thing we never saw before, Freddie. He never had a full belt. Look at that. How many times have you had to use a hammer on that feeder today? Not once. That's right. How many times you hit it that first run? I, I, I lost count after five minutes. Yeah, I bet. You, you know. hit it a thousand times. Yes. Probably. Yes, I did. No more blisters. No on more your blisters. Today, huh? No. Stephanie's out here working with him. You know, honestly, I, I don't think you could be happier. Nice. There you go. Perfect. You're not so nervous anymore now, right? No. Actually, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> well, one, we're right at three hours. Let's call the last bucket, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Stephanie, that's three hours, last bucket. OK. It ran better, huh? Ran much better. Well, good job. Thank you. Hey, you. How's it going? Good. <laughs> My goodness, you're in the excavator. I did it. High five. Right on. I'm so proud of you. I never thought I would ever see her in an excavator. This was a great uh, pivotal moment, uh, you know, for her, but also for me as well, too. We could work the claim, you know, and be working towards uh, retirement. She got in there. She grabbed the bull by the horns. I'm hoping that now Terry and Stephanie can work together. She did great. How does it look, Freddie? I see a couple little pieces in there, Juan. Let's pull some carpets, huh? No time like the present, huh? Yeah, let's do her. Wow, the test run went uh, actually really well. For the first time, my whole plant ran uh, efficiently the whole time. So I'm excited for the way in. Here we go. Well, Freddie, I've got everything all dried up for you here. This is what we got. Well, there's definitely more gold there than there was the first one. A lot run. more fine gold, too. It's your gold. Dump it in there. All right. That way, if he spills it, it's his own It's ball. on him. <laughs> Terry's first run produced 0 0.06 of an ounce, worth around $100. Well, Look at that. 0.20, over three times as much. Awesome. That's pretty good. That, Not a bad improvement. That's you awesome. Are. That works out to about six and a half grams, so about 300% uh, uh, of an increase. So that, to me, is a, is a huge success in itself. 